Hello everyone and welcome back to another video for Destiny 2 Shadowkeep. Today we'll be covering the Dark Side of the Moon Triumph in the Undying category, which, you know, there's about 12, 12 days left of the Undying Mind uh, Triumph this season. So we need to get that if you want the title. So I want to show you guys the best and fastest method of doing this achievement slash triumph trophy, whatever you want to call it. It's not trophy. So what you want to do is you want to actually put on Nezarak Sin for the Warlock. The reason you want this is because Void Damage is, you know, greatly increased and it also makes the abilities recharge significantly faster. You can get three kills with this and you'll end up getting your stuff back so much. Uh, the loadout doesn't really matter, like I said. Uh, so we want to put on Void Walker. I'm going to put on Scatter Grenade because Scatter Grenade has a bigger AoE effect and a bigger explosion when you throw it. I'm going to use the bottom tree and show you guys the percentage of using bottom tree if you want to use this because it has the Devour perk so you don't die. Nova Warp, I will be showing later in the video why that's a better one, but I'm going to show you guys the faster version, but sometimes faster isn't always better, but I'm going to show you guys anyways. So... There is also another exotic you can use, which is the Controverse Hold, if you do not have Nezarak Sin. And the perk just makes it so your grenade is uh, grenade is greatly increased and you resist incoming damage. Charging your grenades with, you know, all that kind of stuff. So it is a good exotic to use if you don't have Nezarak Sin. But unfortunately, that only applies to grenades and we need melee as well. So I'm going to show you guys where we need to go. We want to load up the moon, of course, because you can only do this triumph on the moon and you need void kill. So go to sanctuary and then we're going to head over to the anchor of light and we're going to do the K1 communion lost sector. The reason we want to do this is because the fallen enemies are in big groups and they're all by themselves. So you don't, you know, have a blueberry just taking your guys, your guys' kills. I would recommend doing this solo, not with a fire team, just because you'll get more proficient progress as you do this. As you guys can see, I am getting a little bit of gun kills. That's just to recharge my grenade. Every time I don't have a grenade charge or a melee charge, I kind of just, you know, go around killing them. And as long as I have Devour and Abyssal Extraction active, then the perk will end up making it so my kills, you know, my uh, abilities come back with every kill. Now, as you go through the Lost Sector, you'll notice that the ads slowly start to disperse a bit. When you enter this room, they group up again, and then they kind of disperse. You can choose to reload the Lost Sector and just, you know, not even bother killing the boss. But if you want super kills or you still want to, you know, go through this, there is a bit of ads at the end. To be honest, I would recommend just going through with it anyways, because there is large groups, like two or three large groups of ads. But once you get through that, guys, we're going to calculate the percentage of once I've completed this. So at the beginning, we had roughly 17% melee uh, percentage, and then we had like 30 something, or sorry, 35% melee. So if we look at it right now, we had a 3% increase for melee ability kills and a 14% increase for grenade kills, which that is really, really good, okay? That's phenomenal. But I think the melee kills can be better, and I was trying to think about what is a better way of doing this, because Devourer we don't really need because we didn't really die too much, you know, being tedious in the Lost Sector. So what I did is instead I put on Nova Warp. The reason you really want to have Nova Warp on is because of the perks Dark Matter, which instantly gives you your stuff back, and the melee ends up, you know, shooting out and just an AOE damage of stuff. So literally 13% increase for melee and a 14% for grenade, which is really, really good. And I highly recommend using Nova Warp over the bottom tree. If you're going for grenade kills, it doesn't really matter, but if you're going for both, then Nova Warp. And once you just follow this guide, you know, unfortunately this is just on the Warlock, but you'll end up doing the Dark Side of the Moon Triumph like it is nothing. But I'd say thank you guys so much for watching. Do me a favor, hit that like button, subscribe if you're new, comment down below what you guys think of the video, tell me what I did right, tell me what I did wrong, I want to hear it, I want to hear all your feedback. Uh, hit the notification box if you're new, I'm posting Daily Destiny content, we had that nice upload streak of 8 days and I took a little bit of a break, which I kind of regret because I have so much footage to go over. But that's been the video guys, thank you guys so much. Uh, we are, I want to say thank you for 23,000 subscribers. We are on the way. You know, my channel's been dead for a long time, so it's nice to get back into it. With Destiny 2 Shadowkeep, I feel like my channel's gained a little bit more of exposure, and I'm loving all the support you guys have been giving me. I appreciate that so, so much. And I'm going to be doing a giveaway at around 25,000 subscribers, so stay tuned for that. But, the guys, thank you guys so much. Do me a favor. Have a great day, and peace out.